What up, 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 world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? And today we got a story coming out of Florida, Miami Beach, Florida. Um, Tamarius Blair David Jr., uh, 22 of Norcross, Georgia told investigators that he shot Dustin Wakefield, 21 years old, Tuesday night because he was high on mushrooms and it made him feel empowered. Um, David allegedly told police he had entered the restaurant just before 6.30 and randomly decided to shoot Wakefield, who was on vacation from Castle Rock, Colorado. Um, the victim's uncle said that Dustin Wakefield died protecting his young son. So the uncle says, this guy comes in with a gun, waving it, and says it's time to die. He pointed the gun at his son, and Dustin said, he's he's only a boy. Mike Wayfield told, the uncle told uh, Miami Herald he was not in South Beach, but heard the account from the family. Dustin stood up between the gunman and the baby, and he shot him. He shot him multiple times on the ground. That's deep. Um... His nephew was a construction worker, so he was he had a good job making money. Um, yeah, like I always say, they got a special place uh, for people like you. Um, just you know, uh, speaking just blunt with you, uh, I think you got a scholarship to that motherfucker, and. You know, uh, as far as using the excuse of being high on shrooms, I get it. Uh, I don't. I, I've never done shrooms, but I always like make fun of my 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 friends that do. And ain't nothing wrong with it. It's a uh, what they call it a psychedelic, you know. Um, but I've never heard none of them having an, an experience like that. You know where they they was violent or you know like purple elephants uh the the stoplight flashing marshmallows or cotton candy shit like that i guess <laughs> i don't know that's what i imagine it be where you talk about you see colorful things and you just you know but yeah i've never i've never heard anybody that had that experience but either way you know this was a good you know comeback to you know, counter they they support of it in my argument anyway. Like, look, see a motherfucker like this just crazy. You know, you know, you take this man away from his his family. You know, to where you you walk in and say it's time to die, but then you point a gun at the baby. Yeah, there's a very very special place for you, and it's hot as hell, way hotter than Miami way hotter than that like she get flame broiled up and down that motherfucker but it's, it's it's a spot for you down there big dog um to me don't do drugs if you've never done them don't do them unless you in a, a safe environment i guess like Mushrooms from, like I said, everybody that you hear about it, that talk about it, they got good experiences. But what I would say is be somewhere uh, safe and contained because we don't need nobody walking around feeling like they Hong Kong or somebody. You know what I'm saying? King Kong. I'm sorry. Not Hong Kong. Forgive me. Um, yeah. And not only do this little boy have to go through the trauma of not realizing 
what he's seen in front of his eyes. He's only one. But I guarantee you, he going to be traumatized from this just because he knew one thing. That was his father. And he probably was crying for his father after the commotion. Everybody screaming and yelling. And then you do something like that, just that brutal. Um, skip the trial and shit, man. I don't know why why we got to spend taxpayer dollars on people that choose to um, not give a fuck about their life, but want to, you know, destroy everybody else's. Like, throw your life away by yourself. You know? Like, this dude was 21 years old. 21 years old and construction worker doing you should if anything should have put that gun in your pocket you should have hollered at him like hey man so like how you like how can i get into that field get some soak some game up change your family's life i don't got no words um i'm glad that he was arrested um don't give him that excuse of uh his his ment his mental capacity ain't ain't strong enough to withstand nah he was able to tell you exactly what he did and why he did it um he was high on mushrooms and he felt empowered so um we don't need a motherfucker to take the risk of smoking a cigarette and feel empowered because his empowerment is something different um so you know rest in peace to the victim uh yeah, I don't even think, you know, some people, they relinquish their rights to be able to go through a, 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 a trial and all that. Like, come on, we, you got the facts. He told you what he did. Just come on, you know. Now, I get it if it's like we got some evidence, but this person is denying the claim. Like, yeah, let them get a trial. Depending on what the fuck they do. No, I'm just playing. No, let them get a trial. But when they, when you got somebody like this that's openly just giving you the whole case that you need to build upon them, um, yeah, I don't know. Ask the taxpayers of uh, Miami Beach. See how they feel about it, you know. But, yeah, anyway, drop y'all comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, what's the deal? Um, let me know what y'all think about this, though. Cause I really wanna, I really wanna have some feedback on this one. Cause this is crazy. Cause one of my homeboys, the one who put me up on the story, he called me like, "Yeah, you, you um heard about the dude that killed the dad and and like a tourist family or whatever. Like, and start dancing over the body and this and that. Like dancing over the body. Like what? So yeah, yeah, uh, definitely he um he needs." <sighs> They need to start tunneling down there so we could just, you know, how to, like they got them little chutes where you just put the trash in there and then it just slides down into the trash can. I think that's more like East Coast type shit, but, yeah, they need one of those little just, and then they just get a easy slide on down there. You know what I mean? Yeah, have them, have them bandaged up like a mummy. Don't worry. That shit, the bandages will burn off in a minute. You feel me? But yeah, uh, as always, protect yourself, protect your family. Uh, salute to this man that was trying to protect his child. Um, it's heartbreaking because I couldn't imagine, you know. So yeah, peace.